Here you see the equipment which is issued to each ski trooper. Two sleeping bags. One is an inner sleeping bag of mummy case type which may be drawn over the head. The other is an outer sleeping bag and is used in cold weather. The inner sleeping bag may be placed within the outer sleeping bag to provide additional warmth in cases of extreme cold weather. Note the drawstring in the outer bag which is used to close it around the neck of the sleeper. This is a sectional tent unit which each trooper carries as part of his individual equipment. This tent section can be used to provide shelter for the single trooper or can be joined with similar sections to provide shelter for several troopers. In accordance with the principles of camouflage, the section is olive drab on one side and white on the other so that it can be pitched either on the bare ground or snow. Here is a small air mattress used to insulate the sleeping bag from the snow. Also, it adds considerably to the sleeping comfort of the trooper. Included in the equipment for each man is a white gun cover, leather thong, regulation issue first aid packet, some avalanche cord, and a white cotton tent rope. Each member of the patrol carries this kit, which contains a combination tool serving as pliers, wrench, and screwdriver a roll of adhesive tape, boot waterproofing compound, two ski contraction bands used for repairing broken skis and in making a ski sled, as well as the two adapters, which are also required to make a ski sled. A jackknife, a pair of ski climbers in a bag, and other repair items, such as a coil of leather thong, a coil of wire, and a file. Carried by the trooper are matches in a waterproof case and a small compass. Two other very important items are a celluloid map case for carrying maps and sunburn preventative. Also provided as equipment in each man's personal gear is a white cover for the rucksack for the purposes of camouflage, waterproof food bags, and ski waxes. Extra clothing carried in the rucksack includes a second lightweight sweater, at least two pairs of wool socks, an extra pair of knitted mittens, a knitted headband, an additional pair of inner soles, a handkerchief, and a small towel. Each ski trooper carries a canteen without cover. The canteen cover is not used because it absorbs moisture, which when freezing adds unnecessary weight to his pack. In addition, he has a spoon, canteen cup, a small flashlight, a white lipstick to protect his lips from chapping, and a notebook with a pencil. 